Top 8 Popular Destinations in Uzbekistan for an Amazing Holiday Uzbekistan, the present tourism world show stealer, has emerged as a popular travel destination. Prior to 2011, it was hardly visible on travel maps. The violent silk roads passed, and the diverse cultures found in old cities have boosted Uzbekistan's tourism industry. With 3 million tourists visiting the country in 2017, Uzbekistan ranked 76th in the globe overall. Travelers' curiosity in Uzbekistan's history, culture, and architecture has grown since the Arab Spring. If you're organizing a traditional tour, be sure to visit these popular destinations in Uzbekistan for a memorable experience. Situated at the intersection of the historic Silk Road, Uzbekistan is well known for its Soviet modernism, rich traditional culture, colorful mosques and madrasas, as well as its striking historical architecture. Four unique seasons are brought about by the continental climate, and experiences like going off the main path and spending time in nature will create lifelong memories. These are our top picks for Uzbekistan travel destinations that offer a wealth of architecture, culture, natural beauty and artistic immersion. With a wealth of cultural heritage, Uzbekistan provides visitors with an incredible opportunity to witness its unique sites, stunning architecture, and untamed landscapes. With its futuristic cities, Samarkand and Tashkent, as well as its expansive countryside, Uzbekistan has the potential to be your next travel destination. Check out this list of the top locations to visit in Uzbekistan, whether you are already here or are considering a trip there. Registan, Samarkand. Ideal for striking architectural designs. More than any other site in Uzbekistan, Samarkand's famous Registan Square leaves an impression on first-time tourists. The square, which is included as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is made up of three impressive madrasas that collectively function as an Islamic university. The Ulugbek, Shurder, and Tilakori. Registan translates to a sand place. This has been a gathering place for people since the Timurid era, when significant choices have been made and moments in Uzbekistan's history have taken place. Other ancient sites in Samarkand that are also worth seeing are the Bibi Kanim Mosque, the Shah Izinda Necropolis, the Guri Amir Tomb, and Ulugbek's Observatory. Most major sites can be seen in a single day. But if you want to take in the slower tempo of Samarkand, meander around chatting to local artisans and make time for tea and traditional food, give yourself at least two days. Local Advice Samarkand International Airport, which opened in 2022, is the nation's second largest airport and a convenient gateway to Uzbekistan. Regular flights are offered to this contemporary airport by Turkish carriers, Wizer, Air Dubai, Flierstan, Jazeera Air, and various Uzbek carriers. From Samarkand, it's simple to go by rail throughout the nation, stopping in Bukhara, Kiva and Nukas before returning by plane to Tashkent, the nation's capital. Bukhara Greatest in history An antique mosque in Samarkand could be next to a contemporary neighborhood or office building. But seeing Bukhara's old city is like stepping back in time. The UNESCO protected old district of the city, with its classic mosques, minarets, madrasas, artisan studios, caravanserais and neighborhood restaurants, still has a really genuine vibe. Nestled around the man-made Lobby Hovis pool, the central square exudes a distinct ambience and serves as an excellent spot to take in the architecture. Relish regional cuisine, indulge in tea or ice cream, haggle with souvenir vendors, or simply relax on a sunny seat. In Bukhara, there are numerous places you simply must see. Make time to visit the impressive madrasas of Mirai Arab, Nader Divan Begi and Abdul Aziz Khan, the fascinating Sidirai Mohi Hosa summer house, the Arkansas, which was formerly the home of the Emir of Bukhara, and the Kalan Minaret. Planning Advice Although Bukhara's old city may appear little on a map, it warrants at least two full days of exploration. Every time you visit this city, there are countless new levels to uncover. Bukhara is a multicultural, historic city full of fascinating experiences. It is best visited in the spring and fall when the temperature is not too hot or cold. Zaman National Park The ideal getaway for those who enjoy the outdoors. Because of its pristine natural beauty, Zaman National Park is one of Uzbekistan's numerous gorgeous mountain regions that occupies a particular place in the hearts of the people who live there. This charming location east of Samarkand was well known to locals but undiscovered by foreign visitors until lately. 
Zaman's beautiful and plentiful nature is said to have healing effects. In fact, the area is sometimes likened to Switzerland. The residents are friendly and genuine, and the area is home to many unusual species of plants and animals, including as black storks, black bears, lynx and snow leopards. There are lovely hiking trails and a lake-like reservoir. Visitors come here in the summer and winter to stay in the new international hotels in the area and participate in the June Zaman Ultra Marathon. Tashkent Top Destination for Urbanites Tashkent, the capital of Uzbekistan, is a varied and intriguing place in and of itself, not just a place to enter the nation. A modern cosmopolitan experience is provided by the city's theaters, colorful avenues, museums of art and history, foreign cuisine, and nightlife. The architecture is Islamic. Begin by going to the center Amir Timer Square, where you may visit the Amir Timer Museum, see the Amir Timer Monument and the Tashkent Clock Tower, which is now home to two amusing restaurants, and see the Hotel Uzbekistan, a well-known example of Soviet monumental architecture. The nearby Broadway Street is particularly vibrant at night, with souvenir stores, street food and entertainment. Tashkent City Park, just a short drive to the west, has a planetarium, aquarium, dancing fountains, street performances and a variety of eateries, contemporary lodging options, retail centers, and an outdoor theater. Visit the expansive Chorsu Bazaar, Tashkent's most beloved marketplace, or the Navras Ethnopark for a shopping adventure where you can get traditional Uzbek cuisine, local crafts and apparel. The Savitsky Museum in Nukas The best place for art enthusiasts. The Ustiert Plateau, the Aral Sea, and the historic fortifications dotting the surrounding desert are some of the unique features that draw a lot of tourists to Karakalpakstan, an autonomous republic located to the west of Uzbekistan. However, the Savitsky Museum in Nukas, the regional capital, is among the most fascinating places to visit, often referred to as the Louvre in the desert. It features an extensive collection of Soviet-era Russian avant-garde artwork that was kept hidden. Its creator, Igor Savitsky, was an art collector who preserved some 100,000 pieces of art that represented the rich history and way of life of the local populace. Planning Advice Many visitors arrive by plane to optimize their time for sightseeing, as trains from Tashkent to Nukas can take over 20 hours. Margilin Ideal for fans of conventional art forms. The Fergana Valley city of Margilin is a fantastic place to learn about the history of Ikat, the weaving of textiles with designs pre-dyed into the fibers. This brings us from historical places to artistic ones. Although this distinctive weaving method has grown on its own around the world, particularly in Indonesia, Japan, India and Latin America, Uzbek Ikat gained particular notoriety along the Silk Road due to its high caliber and the wide range of Ikat fabrics manufactured from silk, cotton and velvet. Marjolin is a quaint little town where you can visit the Yajgrulik factory, a long-standing manufacturer of Central Asian Ikat. Talk to contemporary weavers at nearby craft centers, or simply take in the bounty of the neighborhood farmer's market and the relaxed atmosphere of this mostly agricultural region. Planning Advice Since the Silk Road's inception, Marjolin has served as a center for the manufacture of silk. From Fergana, take a shared taxi to Marjolin, or go by train from Tashkent. Visit the local market on Sunday or Thursday. Icon Kala, Old Kiva Ideal for going back in time. Once the capital of the Khorizm Shaks, and subsequently the center of the Kiva Kanate, the open-air museum that is Kiva still maintains its own language, customs and culture. The stronghold at the center of Kiva lies the remarkable Icon Kala, or inner city, which houses the majority of the city's architectural highlights. Explore the evocative Juma Mosque, the serene Tosh Havli Palace, complete with harem chambers for the ruler's wives, and the striking Kalta Minor Minaret to experience the majesty and peace of medieval Central Asia. A few of the old buildings have been turned into boutique hotels. Spending the night in a room with medieval accents combined with all the contemporary conveniences you could need, including air conditioning and a hot shower, is a truly unique experience. Learn about Kiva culture through sessions that include everything from bread baking to strenuous chorism dancing. Rishtan Ideal for lovers of pottery. Rishtan is likely the world's city with the highest concentration of ceramic artists. 
There are pottery products for sale on both sides of the highway as soon as you enter the town. But you should wait to buy, because local craftspeople's studios have superior, more genuine pieces. A millennium ago, Reichstin's glazed pottery gained fame due to its distinct soil, which is the most abundant supply of terracotta clay in the area. The traditional methods of Uzbek ceramic art have been preserved and popularized thanks to the renowned workshops of Rustam Yuzmanov and Alistair Nazarov. But the city has plenty of talented artisans in ceramic studios, catering to various preferences and price ranges. There are many other amazing and well-known tourist destinations in Uzbekistan that merit just as much if not more attention than these. Explore the streets and alleyways of Uzbekistan to learn about the fascinating Silk Road and much more. If you found this video informative and helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and sharing it with your friends. Your support means the world to us. Thank you for watching.